Hey guys, Kyle, the Death Knight of Enemy here, bringing you my review for One Piece episode 885. And, okay, so to start off with, I don't normally do this, but I have to call out Toei for, 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 for pretty much just, for, 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 for just, just pretty much the title of this episode alone. I mean, I've, I've read the manga, so it's not a big deal, but... Just, just kind of imagine, if you will, just, just, just kind of want, just, just being one of those poor saps who, who are coming into the anime for the first time and seeing that title, it really just kind of spoils the episode. It just, it, they'll just immediately almost have the episode spoiled for them, really. And, and, and just with, overall with, and with something like that, you just kind of run the risk of making the, the reveal just slightly underwhelming, and. And and, and 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 obviously no, there and, and 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 I know a lot of the anime is basically operating under the assumption that most people have read the manga, but yeah, still you still kind of I, I feel that when when it comes to these like op, when it comes to j just titling these episodes, I feel you have to have some kind of some kind of self awareness of uh, of basically what of, of what it is that, that you're pretty much selling to people almost like uh, of what of, of what it, of, of of the kind of you almost need need to have some kind of self awareness, almost just, just, just almost so almost the point where, where you don't really where, where you, like you, you need to strike a balance between basically basically t telling what the title is going to be about, but also also yeah yeah not exact also also not spoiling it for them. Um, having said and I'll and having said that, I'll be honest. Um. And okay, I, I don't I don't normally do and another thing I don't normally do is, is give you guys a warning of, of what my next of what my next chap of my next episode episode review is gonna be like but um uh, but but pretty much uh, but basically uh, I'm just gonna give you guys right now a, a lot like last week's episode um just to prepare you guys a lot like last week's episode I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna I'm gonna be probably doing a, a little bit of a rant on on Charlos again at least if the at least if the preview is anything to go off of. Like, it's probably not going to be as strong as last week's episode, but I'm still going to be going on a little bit of a mini rant with, with Charles again. Like, seriously, th th this dude just pisses me the fuck off. But, uh, yeah. Um, with, with that being said, though, let's talk about the huge reveal in this episode, which is, which is, the, is, which is that, uh, again, much, much like the episode had said, Episode title had said that there there is there is a big that there's a straw hat that's stored sort of way underneath Marie Joie and the first thing to take note of in all this is the hat's size and just how much bigger it is compared to Luffy's so it kind of begs the question of what exactly of what the origins of of Luffy's straw hat which was originally Rogers are like what exactly are the origins of the of the straw hat that Luffy possesses that has been passed down from from Roger to Shanks to Luffy like where exactly where, 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 like an in, like it just kind of begs the question of uh, where Prince Roger had, had Prince, he, he even kind of gotten his straw hat at this point. Like it, obviously, he, obviously he obviously if, if he has if he had a straw hat when 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 he was when he was just when he was younger, obviously he he wouldn't have he wouldn't have gotten he he, he wouldn't have um. He, he wouldn't have gotten like he, he wouldn't have gotten a hold of it then un unless Roger has has really some kind of connection to, to the world government that we don't know about but yeah I'm, I'm just the, 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 this whole this whole thing with the straw hat now it does kind of raise a question of what exactly of how, how Roger ended up getting his obviously so yeah I'm curious to see what exactly the backstory on that one's gonna be I, I think it does prove though that Roger probably does have some connection to the world government that that, that, that obviously we that obviously we we, 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 we pretty much we, we basically we basically don't even know about probably um and and what and yet yeah just in general I, I want to know what, what the connection between the I want to know the connection between what what pretty much the what what Roger straw hat is and this this bigger straw hat is although and although I will say that going off what Del Flamingo said, I'm getting one 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 thing I am getting the vibe of in in terms of what the origins in terms of the origins of this bigger straw hat. Um, I get the, I get the vibe that this episode is putting a lot of significance on on just the straw hat as a symbol that basically has some kind of connection to to to, to the history of the Void Century. Now as as now as far as what what that connection is. I'm still not a hundred percent sure on the full picture, but one thing I can glean, I can glean from all this, from basically this one reveal is that, 
every, every, with 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 the reveal of this straw hat, I think it is. I think all the dots are con definitely connecting, but are connecting back to, to are connecting back to, to, to pretty much Joy Boy now in some way. And like it, at this at this point as well, I think it's safe to assume that that Joy Boy as a person is someone who, who probably who had a very key impact on the events of the Void Century. Like ev ev everything that, that that is pretty much connected that that that, that, that Everything that, that is connected around around the voids that has that has to do with the void century, I think at the center of it, we we we, we I think at the center of it, I, I think pretty much Joy Boy is is basically like a pretty much key a key person of interest in in, in just the overall like history and lore of, of what happened in the void century for sure. Um, and and from there, like and 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 beyond that, the, 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 like a, and beyond that, the. And beyond all that craziness, of course, in terms of this story, that there, I don't think that, I guess you could say that that, that, really, that really there 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 wasn't really a whole lot more to the episode, um, uh, other other than reintroducing us to, to pretty much characters from from basically past arcs. But unlike last time, where, where unlike last time with this episode, it it showed both both those allied with Luffy and those who are against him and. With that, we pretty much got reintroduced to one of my least favorite characters in One Piece, Wapple. And yeah, I with that, I gotta ask a question: Why is Wapple a thing? Seriously, he serves no purpose to the story other than being an annoying fat asshole. Although, <laughs> although as much as I hate to give the give him credit at in terms of this point, although as much as I hate to give him credit, I think I think that's probably the point because. Because just the fact that the pretty much Wapple is here, it, it kind of proves that 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 he's definitely going to be part of the opposition against against all those who are suddenly allied with Luffy. And and one thing that Wapple can do is is that because he, he he of course has also had a past encounter and experience with Luffy, he basically has the means he he has the means in order to get the other leaders to recognize both Luffy and and even even the Sakura Kingdom as a genuine threat. If, if 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 they haven't already so yeah it's 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 kind of like a yin and yang situation like 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 pretty much for, for, like like pretty much for, 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 like like pretty much for, 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 in in terms of like don't get me wrong luffy it, it's one of those things where, where luffy has has people who who are who are al who are secretly allied with him in in this yeah, at the levelly, but 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 for everyone who who he has allied is allied with him, he, he basically has just as many people who are against him, and and Wapple is basically the is the one person who who basically has has basically a chip on his shoulder and a grudge against Luffy most of all. So, yeah, he he both Luffy and, and Dalton, of course. So, yeah, he can he 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 can definitely turn this he can turn this whole situation around where where he has the whole world against both Luffy and Dalton and Dalton and the Sagara Kingdom. So yeah, as much as I hate to say it, for as annoying as Wobble is, he 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 pretty much he, he definitely has 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 definitely his his own, own own pretty much cards to play for sure. Um, although hope, hope hope hopefully pretty much Cobra is going to be able to is going to be able to do something that. that is gonna is gonna be able to do something that that, that he can take like th he, can, he, he can take the spotlight away from Wapple almost but we'll see um now correct me now correct me if I'm wrong but one addition now, now correct me if I'm wrong but I I think the whole I think the whole bit where, where we basically see everyone where everyone was um where where we see everyone who is basically who's part of Luffy's like who's part of Luffy's like like pretty much straw hat fleet like organizing I I think that was an anime only bit and if 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 that is the case uh, one one thing I really like about this edition is that is that we actually get to see everyone who's who's part of Luffy's Luffy straw hat fleet like like pretty much cutting ties with any country or organization that they were previously affiliated with. And just in general, like we be, one thing I just really liked, I just liked how, how this episode had had that one moment of seeing, of seeing everyone, everyone pretty much preparing them, themselves for, preparing themselves in order to commit to Luffy's cause, cause, so yeah, it was a nice little setup in that sense, and 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 it and it kind of fed into exactly what pretty much Doflamingo Flamingo was talking about with the Throne Wars. Um, and, and yeah, it's, it's one of those, it's, 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 it's a very tiny scene, but it's just one of those scenes where I was like, why couldn't, 
it's just one of those scenes where I'm like, why couldn't we get a, a lot more scenes like this throughout the, for, throughout pretty much all the, pretty much throughout the, 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 pretty much the entire arc? Like, why exactly did, did why exactly did, did Toy have to have to focus have to focus like pretty much like like pretty much so much on the on on the flashbacks? Why and and over just kind of giving us scenes like little scenes like this where, where it kind of like it focuses on on what's going on in the world like yeah like it, on in this one moment that the pretty much toy they they, they pretty much did, did, did they, they pretty much did what i wanted them to do the entire time with this arc but yeah it's like i, I don't know it's I wanted I wanted more scenes that like like pretty much what, what we pretty much got with with the straw hat fleet is what i'm saying like but almost throughout the entire arc but yeah, we we got flashback instead. It's it's a little annoying, but it, it, at least I can say that 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 pretty much Toei ended up doing do, doing something right, but by giving us this one scene, um, and and like but like I said, it it, it kind of with 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 showing the Straw Hat fleet, it showing them preparing for for, for pretty much for basically the for what's on in order to aid Luffy in the future. It it feeds into exactly what Del Flamingo was talking about with the Throne Wars, net, Throne Wars. But 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 with this also, it raises an even bigger question. Like, if, at what point we're, we're basically going to see the, the from a Straw Hat fleet, for, and and then play like an actual role in the story? Even because even in the manga, we we we, pretty much, we basically haven't even gotten much with them with them beyond. Be, be, we we haven't gotten even we got we got even less of them in the manga, which is the only thing we got with them so far is what well, is basically their, their pretty much formation in the Dressrosa arc. But but knowing Oda, if I if if I had to know him as as meticulous as he is, he's probably got got a very specific plan for, for pretty much the Straw Hat fleet. So he's waiting for that one specific moment in order in order to reveal them and in order for them to jump in and and aid Luffy. I think is what he's doing. So. Yeah, I'm not sure what 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 it, what at what point like we're gonna see a, a full on like full on like uh, a full on full on full on reveal of the Straw Hat fleet like aiding Luffy, but I I want it I want it soon like it it's kind of it's getting me pumped all over again for it. Um, but yeah, guys, that's my review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Crunch Roll. Dead Night of Enemy. Signing off. Later, guys.